It's Falcons TV brought to you by La Quinta Inn. Hello, Falcons fans. I'm Andy Zilch here with Sonny Milano. You just come from the OHL. How was your first season in the OHL? Uh, it was pretty good. Obviously, uh, we didn't get the results we wanted. Uh, a lot of injuries kind of killed us early on in the year, but uh, I mean, it was a good experience for sure. Well, was there any like growing pains that you had to experience or anything learned, new that you learned during the course of the season? I want to say growing pains. I think, uh, I don't know, I think uh, right away I was uh, – kind of like looked on uh, produce offense and uh, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't think uh, it was that big of a transition. I just thought, like I said, like the injuries uh, kind of just killed us and uh, I think we could have a lot better season if uh, maybe some of those didn't happen. But, uh, you know, this is, like I said, a good experience and uh, definitely learned a lot of things. You're coming up here to the pro ranks with the Springfield Falcons. Did you know anybody prior to coming in this locker room? Yeah, I mean, I've met a lot of guys at the uh, Columbus camp. Uh, most of the guys were there and, uh, I mean, obviously a couple of trades happened and, uh, Couple new faces, but I mean, I know pretty much a lot of the guys, and that's going to help me. It was uh, who was the first person to greet you when you walked in the locker room? Uh, who was it? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I don't know. I saw Anderson pretty on, and now we're pretty close. He's close to my age, so uh, I saw him, and uh, he kind of showed me around a little bit, and uh, he definitely helped me out. Coming in here, you're at the end of the season. Uh, you're, you're a fresh face. Is there any expectations that you're putting on yourself to come in here and take care of this the rest of the season? Yeah, I mean, obviously this team's in a playoff push right now. They're uh, trying to get a playoff spot. Uh, they're in it right now and uh, trying to hold it on. And um, I don't know, I'm just trying to maybe uh, learn experience here, uh, learn from all the older guys, uh, take it in, and uh, obviously uh, try to make some plays too. You're getting a crash course on the team system. What have your conversations been like with head coach Jared Bednar and the assistants? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a lot of new systems being thrown at me at once, and uh, it's pretty tough, but I, he knows uh, he knows I got to get that through before, uh, before I can play. And uh, just, he just keeps trying to put it in my head, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get that pretty early. All right, let's hit a little bit of the lighter side. Uh, what's your most embarrassing hockey moment that you've had? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, empty nets are never good. Uh, missing empty net on a breakaway. Oh, or not, when not, was that? Not a straight-up breakaway, but I mean from like the blue line or something. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that happened at National Camp once, and uh, pretty big pretty big uh, weekend, too. And uh, trying to make Team USA, and I missed empty nets, so that was, that was pretty embarrassing. So, <laughs> <laughs> Who do you model your game after? Uh, I like Patrick Kane, the way he plays. Uh, I'm like a skilled player like Patrick Kane. And, uh, I mean, obviously he's a great player, but, I mean, that's, that's what I try to model my game after. Has there been any, been any on-ice pranks or any locker room pranks that you can talk about on camera that uh, you've done or maybe that someone's done to you that you won't forget? Uh, I'm not really a big prankster. Uh, I don't know. Not, not too many pranks have gone on in my career. Uh, Maybe maybe uh, this maybe this team. I'm more of the older guys picking on the younger guys here, so I'm sure I'm sure I got a little pranks here and there now. Yeah, keep your eyes open for sure. <laughs> uh, one other thing to ask you, uh, you know, ha having this transition here with the team and, and meeting all the guys, uh, is it tough to find some chemistry? I actually talked with William Carlson about this, but you said that you played with a lot of the guys before. Do you find it seamless moving into some guys that you are familiar with? Uh, I mean, I haven't really done any uh, chemistry things yet. I mean, I've I've only been skating uh, by myself. Uh, just got here yesterday, so I mean. But I mean, uh, they're obviously all great players. So, uh, like I said, I'm sure coach is going to know uh, who to put who with who, and uh, I'm sure we'll find some chemistry pretty early. All right, thanks a lot. Good luck yeah. the rest of the way. Thank you. All right, fans, that's Sonny Milano. This upcoming week, we got hockey and heels on Saturday, and our ticket redemption night on Friday.